one of the most common disputes today, mm -hmm. um, being that it's a seller's market. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. This is really a seller's market today, and and um, uh, you put a property on the market, yep. and you have dozens of offers. Yeah. So with that being the state of the economy and the market, um, what we're looking at in terms of disputes mm -hmm. is um, basically cancellation by mm -hmm. the seller. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, any delay by mm -hmm. the buyer, seller will cancel, mm -hmm. usually, mm -hmm. uh, if a dispute arises, of course, and the seller will then list the property right away, sell it to another buyer mm -hmm. at a higher price. Mm. So buyers need to really beware mm -hmm. of um, deadlines, mm -hmm. and uh, their agent, of course, needs to be um, right on top of it. Yeah. So I'm seeing that a lot these days, and the from a legal aspect and the lawsuit that usually arises that's mm -hmm. coming back mm -hmm. is the specific performance lawsuit. Mm -hmm. So when the seller cancels, the buyer has to make a decision whether to sue to seek the court to force a sale. Mm -hmm. And back in 2005 and six, I handled a lot of those mm -hmm. because the market was going up. Um, buyers were buying property uh, equity over a period of 30 days during the escrow period, there was extra equity in there from the from the original purchase price. Yeah. So buyers were willing and investors were willing to sue sellers mm. uh, to force the sale. Mm -hmm. And that usually then once a lawsuit was <laughs> filed, quick action was filed once the seller canceled, um, it usually resulted in a negotiation and then we kind of got back on track with mm -hmm. the sale. Yeah. So it's uh, that's what I'm seeing these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm, with well, this market.